We come with what is the correct thing to do here and how to correctly do it. Now, what you really want to do is you really want to wash the X's out so that you are left entirely with use. Entirely with use. And if you find yourself with any X's, you haven't completed it or you have made a calculation mistake or you are not using the correct method. I hope you have made good notes of that. So let's proceed with this one here. Yeah. I will do uh, I will do it by example. So we say to ourselves, u is equal to 2x plus 3. And see, this says you are integrating the function of x, 1 over root 2x plus 3 with respect to x. So that if you make the substitution u equals 2x plus 3, you are going to change the integrand to a function of u. Which, means, which is to say that you must integrate with respect to u. So that this dx needs to change. And how you will find dx? Well, differentiate. You will need to differentiate this. The u by dx is what? Which is to say, if you do some manipulation, that du is 2dx. And I put that in quotation marks for any professor who wants to challenge me on my mathematics. It's technically not quite correct. What is correct is this. But I'm not going to obfuscate the matter and confuse you. You are more than happy to think of it like this. More than welcome to think of it like this. Or if you want to do a little more algebra, to think of it like this. Now we are ready to wash the x out. We are ready to wash the x out. <coughs> so we will come here and say that this is 1 over radical u. Now you could write dx as your first step. There's such a thing on the test, I won't really penalize you. But if you say now that dx is really du over t, what I said, that it's like an integral that we know how to integrate. One over radical x or one over radical u. So I will find the antiderivative of this with respect to u, and then multiply by one half. Well, I know what the antiderivative of this with respect to u is. What is it? Two radical u plus Is that correct? So that this is and now you may back substitute for the 
Now this is the most obvious situation when you will make a new substitution. When it, kind of look, when it kind of looks like something, you know how to integrate except for some silly fudge factor. There are situations in which really it is not that case. But what he says is that there will be some cancellation like this example here. It is not a situation where you kind of know how to integrate something that will help you. If you make an appropriate substitution with u, you can convert that to an integral that's entirely in terms of u. And that is not always the case. Sometimes you'll make a u substitution. There's no way to make a u substitution that's going to help you. Watch the exit. And you have to be a little patient. <coughs> I think I'm going to try the substitution u equals x squared plus 1. And then, of course, you know that you're going to have to change this also. So we will differentiate. We are in the business of doing things. We want to change this to things with more good use. So this one is here. Now, how you would write x in terms of u, you could say it's radical u minus 1. You will find yourself going in circles. Hmm? And in fact, it won't be washed out because you also have the x which will write in terms of u of well. I'm going to change the x again. I just leave it and hope that things really are going to cancel. Mm -hmm. Things are going to cancel. So that would be okay. Then you say to yourself, well, you know what? Dx really is the u over 2x. Now you say that there is a cancellation. That the x's are indeed washed out. So that your integral is entirely in terms of perfectly legitimate. And so this is an ordinary integral if you look at the table and the derivatives. And uh, Thank you. 
with all the negative things. And then you say to yourself, well, you was really exquisite this morning. Right. I thought you can check if your work is correct. So if I give you a study guide, I don't vote the answer, you can say, well, is my answer correct? That's how you check your answer. Huh? Differentiate and see. Any questions about the use substitution method? There is one point I would like to make about the use substitution method. Who's had the use substitution method without Dr. J? Now, I don't know how you had it. There are some professors where, and here you want to make good notes also. And listen carefully to me, you will see what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> 